Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Oyer, Medical Director of Aurora Medical Services. There are many options for contraception. Unfortunately, none of them is perfect for everyone. What's nice is in this day and age, there are many things to choose from. When you're choosing a method of contraception, it's important to ask yourself a few questions. Do you want hormones involved in your method of contraception or not? Do you want something you need to use with each act of intercourse or not? How frequently do you want to interact with your method of contraception? Based on those answers, we can help you figure out what might be best for you. When they do studies on contraceptive methods, what those studies say is what's going to happen on average to women who use these methods. What happens on average is a good place to make assumptions about what will happen. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean that's what happens for each and every person. And the only way you're going to know if a method is right for you is to try it. Condoms are a very effective method of birth control. If used each and every time, they're actually over 98% effective. The other huge advantage of condoms is that they protect you from sexually transmitted diseases. They're the only method of contraception that does that well. As most people know, there are several disadvantages to condoms, starting with the fact that they need to be used each and every time. So each act of intercourse needs to be somewhat interrupted in order to put a condom on. Condoms, as a result, don't get used as often as they should or as they are planned. Condoms also can break or slip off during intercourse, and then one is left worrying if it actually worked or not. Sometimes we actually advocate that people use condoms along with another method of contraception, the other method of contraception being one they don't have to think of each and every time, something like the pill or an IUD that they deal with once a day or once every several years. And then, if they need STD protection, they add condoms for that. But I do want you to know that condoms, if used each and every time, are a very effective method of contraception. Diaphragms and cervical caps are barrier methods available for the woman to use. Again, they need to be used each and every time. Diaphragms and cervical caps are significantly less effective than condoms. They're only about 80 to 85% effective, even when used each and every time. A diaphragm or a cervical cap needs to be fit, particularly to the woman, and that's usually done at a healthcare practitioner's office. A diaphragm or cervical cap needs to be left in place for up to six hours, for at least six hours, after intercourse to make sure that all sperm that have entered the vagina are dead before the cervical cap or the diaphragm is removed. Couples who are using a barrier method of contraception should know about a medication called Plan B. Plan B is also called emergency contraception. It's contraception that one takes after unprotected intercourse to decrease their chance of having gotten pregnant during that act of intercourse. Plan B comes in a package of two pills that one takes immediately after they realize their condom broke, their diaphragm slipped, or they neglected to use either one. It can be taken up to 120 hours or five days after that unprotected intercourse, but the sooner you take it, the better. If you take Plan B within 24 hours of unprotected sex, it has about an 89% chance of decreasing your risk of pregnancy from that act of intercourse. Plan B is not nearly as effective as birth control that is used prior to that intercourse and should not be relied on as your normal plan, but it's a good backup method to have.